Something big is coming to the Mac space and I believe that it's gonna be the 15 inch MacBook Air and in this video, I'm gonna explain why it is the perfect laptop to come out next year at the perfect time. It's gonna sell like hotcakes. Let me explain why, but first I've gotta go through what's been going on with the Mac space right now in terms of Apple's market share and what's been coming and what we didn't get and that's why this 15 inch is gonna be such a big deal. Check this out, we just got this report that two unreleased Macs have been spotted in Steam's database, which is of course a gaming database. Now out of those two, one of them is the Mac 14 comma six identifier, and the other one is the Mac 15 four, both listed with 0% usage on Steam's platform. Now, if you didn't already know, that Mac 14 six has already been seen in some other leaks. Specifically, that's actually the M2 Max Geekbench scores, which have been leaked multiple times. We recently just got another updated one that broke 2000 single core score, as you can see right here, 2027, which is actually really good, which makes us think we might actually get four nanometer chips. But as you can see right here, going down into the identifiers, Mac 14 six. So that is one of the leaked Steam database Mac models. And now of course for the other one, the Mac 15.4, I believe that that's gonna be the 15 inch M2 MacBook Air, and I'll explain why in just a minute. Now, I wanna bring you to this report from Apple where they said that Mac revenue would decline substantially year over year in the December quarter. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, Everybody was expecting new MacBook Pros, the 14 and 16 inch models with the M2 Pro and M2 Max chips, but of course we didn't get that. We didn't even get a November Apple event at all and so many people were waiting on those new models, but they got delayed of course until I believe March 2023 when those are coming out. And of course, now that we have these awesome benchmarks with up to 3.68 gigahertz base frequency, over 2000 single core score, it makes sense why people are gonna hold off to buy a new MacBook. And Frederick Orange on Twitter believes that it makes the most sense for these new MacBooks to come with four nanometer chips, the same as A16, because we definitely don't want five nanometer, people aren't gonna buy those. I'll explain why people already aren't buying those expensive 14 and 16 inches, but four nanometer is what we would want. Now, the reason why we probably won't get three nanometer right now is because three nanometer is brand new. It's only gonna be coming early next year into some products, but the chip wafers themselves are 25% more expensive for Apple than five nanometers. So I guess it makes sense that during a recession, which we're entering right now, Apple probably wants to delay three nanometer as long as they can. So we might get that four nanometer. And now in my opinion, even with four nanometer coming to those new M2 Pro and M2 Max chips, I still don't think those MacBook Pros are gonna be selling that well because the design is gonna be unchanged. It's set in stone. We're most likely only gonna have internal changes and that's simply not enough to get a lot of people to buy them. But another reason why I don't expect them to do that well and why I think we need a 15 inch MacBook Air coming next year in the spring is because of this poll that was made in October 19th of 2021. The MacBook Pro's new price is too high for 97% of buyers. Yes, YouGov Direct did a poll on behalf of Digital Trends and check this out, they polled 1,116 people on the highest amount that they'd be willing to spend on a new laptop and according to the poll, just 3% of people are willing to spend $2,000 or more on a laptop and yes, the 14 inch base model, the cheapest 14 inch new one, starts at $2,000. That means that only 3% of people are willing to buy it. Basically, it's a niche market where you really have to find the right buyer to spend at least $2,000 or $2,500 on a 16 inch. And this was before all of the recession talk and everything kind of going down economically. Imagine next year where we might have a bad recession. How many people are gonna be buying these I don't think that many, which is why I believe 
it makes perfect sense for Apple to release the 15 inch MacBook Air. So let's get into those leaks now. Now, the reason I believe it's gonna be so important for Apple to release this 15 inch is because it all comes down to what happened in 2021. Mac shipments more than doubled in first three months of 2021 compared to the same period in 2020. And that was of course right after the M1 chip was released and it was an absolute banger because of the low entry level price of that MacBook Air, $1,000 made it available to so many people, of course, not like the $2,000 plus 14 and 16 inch models. And guess what happened this year? Apple sees falling iPad sales in fiscal 2022, but Mac sales are up. That was on October 27th, 2022. And why did that happen? Well, because that was right after Apple released the M2 MacBook Air, which a lot of people loved. Actually, look at these tweets from people. I've been using my new MacBook Air for two weeks now and it's an absolute delight. The M2 is blazingly fast and every time I pick it up, I get a little jolt of surprise at how thin and light it is. Yes, it is incredibly thin and light, unlike any other laptop out there. Check out this tweet from Ian Zelbo. These are the laptops I see at college in order of popularity. The first one is the 13 inch M2 MacBook Air. And that was only a couple of months after they were released. So they're gaining popularity very quickly. And look at this guy's tweet, M2 performance plus new great front facing camera plus great battery life with fast charging equals college laptop of your dreams. And I completely agree, especially since right now you can get it on sale on Amazon for $1,050. That's 150 bucks off MSRP, only 50 bucks more than people were buying the M1 MacBook Air. And this is arguably a much better designed laptop. Just look at those bezels. So it's an excellent deal right now. So it makes sense why college students are buying them. So here's the point that I want to make. How can Apple save their Mac sales during a recession? Well, they release a new 15 inch MacBook Air. Now check out these leaks from Mark Gurman, June 9th, that was right after WWDC when they released the 13 inch MacBook Air, said Apple plans a 15 inch MacBook Air for next year. And looking more specifically at the actual Bloomberg article, he said that Apple plans 15 inch MacBook Air for 2023. And looking even more closely, he says it could release as early as next spring, which to me points at March 2023, the perfect time for Apple's March event to release a 15 inch MacBook Air. Now, we also had leaks from Ross Young, who perfectly gets the display size of the M2 MacBook Air saying it would go up to 13.6 inches. That was back in March. And he is saying that the 15 inch MacBook Air will actually be 15 point two inches and that makes a lot of sense because right now the 14 inch macbook pro is actually 14.2 inches and that extra 0.2 inches accounts for the notch which of course the 15 inch m2 macbook air would also have so this makes perfect sense and then on top of that, Ross Young also said that the display would be missing out on mini LED technology. So it's gonna be basically the same LCD tech as we already have in the M2 MacBook Air. Now, with that said, let's put all of those leaks together. First of all, if we do get a 15 inch MacBook Air in early 2023, in the spring, let's say March, that is too early for the M3 chip, which means that we're essentially gonna get the same M2 chip chip we already have in the current 13 inch M2 MacBook Air. So it's gonna be identical, the same chip, the same internals, everything, but instead of 13 inch, it's gonna be a 15 inch model with the same exact LCD display technology. However, because of the extra internal space, you're gonna get a bigger battery, much bigger actually. And Apple's gonna market it as the best battery life in any MacBook ever. It's gonna be absolutely insane with of course the M2 chip performance and a larger display, which is awesome for a lot of people who right now they want a bigger display, but they can't afford $2,500 for a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Just like we saw from that poll, only 3% of people were willing to spend over $2,000. So what do you do during a recession? You release a 15 inch MacBook Air with the same exact M2 chip 
for $1,500 where a lot of people can afford it and it basically just blows up. People love it, especially if it's the same thickness as it is right now, which is incredibly thin right now. But if you make it 15 inches, it's gonna seem even more thin impossibly thin. And because of the larger display size, the notch is gonna seem smaller and the bezels are gonna seem smaller as well. And on top of that, they can also make the speakers better with actual speaker grills like we have on this 16 inch MacBook Pro on the new 15 inch. So you essentially make an awesome, awesome laptop, 15 inches big display for those people in the mass market who can afford to spend $1,500 on a laptop. This is gonna be a great seller, especially during a recession. And that is why I believe that this extra Mac model number in the Steam database is pointing to the 15 inch M2 MacBook Air. Now, if you totally disagree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. But if you love this idea and you're willing to wait until spring to see what happens, click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Definitely check out the product link to the current M2 MacBook Air using YouTube's product link tagging feature. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.